there's a massive shift underway in the market. And if you're on the right side of the shift, you're about to make a lot of money. But if you're on the wrong side, you're gonna lose a ton. And I know I have a few friends that are on the wrong side of this trade. So I wanna make this video and tell you about this shift that's happening in the market and how to profit from it and how to avoid taking some losses. You know, but first I wanna welcome everyone to the channel, Stocks, Tech, and Beer, where we grab a cold one and talk about stocks and technology. Now, disclaimer, I'm just a guy drinking some beer and it's not financial advice, but please, please do your own homework before making any investment decisions based off of this. I mean, I could be dead wrong, who knows? But anyways, yeah, right now I'm in Texas, drinking one of my last beers from Colorado. Today, it's the uh, live resin, is Strata Fresh Hop from New Image Brewing Company in some city, Colorado, Arvada. Don't know where that is, we'll assume it's somewhere by Denver. But I was at a craft beer store and the guy there told me that New Image is doing some pretty cool stuff, it's pretty innovative stuff, and I need to try it. So I got a four pack of it. And here we are. Yeah, you know, it's, it's a hazy IPA, but it really doesn't taste like it. It's not bitter. There's not a lot of citrus in here. I mean, they use the, uh, the Strata hops, I believe I said. Yeah, Strata. And they also put in some terpene oil in there as well and it made it a little sweeter but it's not like the traditional terpene that tastes like an herbal attack on your taste buds uh, this is really smooth it doesn't taste hoppy it's just it's a good beer it's got, got a little sweetness and it just finishes crisp and clean it's got some good flavor i like it a lot you know we'll give this i'll say a seven and a half out of ten let's get back to the market now uh so i've had some friends recently you know rather sheepishly tell me that they held on to Zoom Technologies and Peloton over the past couple of weeks and have lost a ton of money as these stocks have reversed in the market. And I don't like to tell people to avoid stocks or to buy stocks. I mean, it's kind of a no-win situation for me. I mean, if I'm right, I'm just doing my job. But if I'm wrong, I, I'm an idiot, you know, and I'm the worst person in the world. So normally I just tell people not to do, you know, not do anything, you know, I ask them why and, you know, maybe a few questions, but I don't really tell give people any advice specifically on the matter but in this case I feel so confident in the situation that I wanted to give a warning to every one of you about what's happening in the market and this rotation why it's happening and how to profit and how to avoid making losses in this new environment that we're gonna see going forward so over the past week or so ever since uh, Joe Biden was elected president there are some curiously timed announcements on vaccine news like right after that and Pfizer first came out and said they had a vaccine that was 90% effective. And that is amazing for a coronavirus or a flu vaccine. Like researchers were hoping they'd get a 50% effective vaccine. Like, yeah, we're doing pretty good in that case. But no, Pfizer came out and said they had 90% efficacy in people who are taking their COVID-19 vaccine. I mean, that's amazing. If they, once they can get this out and approved and people start taking that and feel safe, they're gonna go out and they're gonna go back to their old routines. And you have Eli Lilly coming out with their vaccine from you know, something or another, whatever it's called. And Moderna just released good results as well. And there's tons of these things going out and people are gonna go back to normal after they have these vaccines. I mean, we already have the like a treatment for it with Regeneron's antibody cocktail. I mean, we saw what happened to President Trump. I mean, he's like the person that COVID-19 goes to feast on. I mean, he's over 70, he's probably technically obese, he lives a very unhealthy lifestyle. I mean, he's like a brothel for the coronavirus, but he got it, it was looking bad for him, but they brought him to the hospital and gave him this cocktail and his, it gave his immune system response and it cleared out his system and he was back in the saddle in less than a week, looked like he was ready to run a marathon, just doing his thing again, looking strong. You know, the coronavirus, it's just not, at, like, we're, we're learning how to treat it. Like, yeah, I don't want to minimize any deaths that have happened before. Like, it's a very serious thing. Is it worse than the flu? Absolutely. But it generally preys on the weak and the already uh, compromised people. But even those people now, we know how to treat it. So it's definitely lowering the death rate. So I think people are going to start getting back to normal very soon. They're gonna stop social distancing. They're gonna start going back to restaurants. They're gonna to go to the movie theaters. They're gonna to go to the bars. They'll start hopping on airplanes and frequenting hotels once again. I mean, life is gonna get back to normal. We're only gonna take this for so long anyways as Americans. I mean, it's impeding on our freedoms 
and like it, it's an airborne virus there's probably nothing we can do realistically to stop it you just got to learn how to live with it and take proper precautions and if you're at the at, at risk population yeah you might have to stay home a little bit longer but so social distancing will be a thing of the past very soon like yeah numbers are pumping right now but the vaccine is coming out even fauci came out uh today friday november 13th and said it's probably towards the end of the pandemic like as soon as these vaccines come out he's confident that people will get back to normal and when that happens things like the zoom happy hour are going to be a thing of the past i mean don't get me wrong i've had some good times on these zoom happy hours and i've even reconnected with some friends that we haven't uh you know done very well and staying in touch over the past few years and it was, it's nice to see these people and connect again and you know it's and it, uh, rekindle those friendship friendships but for the people around me in my general vicinity I, we're going to meet up in person uh, you know meet up in, in real life as they call it so when that happens like zoom is screwed i mean it's overvalued anyways it's it's still even after it went down 20 percent, 25 percent over this the past couple of weeks like it's still got a enterprise value to sales ratio of over 80. I mean, that's insanely expensive. You would have to be growing at an astronomical rate to justify that kind of valuation. And here's the thing about Zoom. There's like zero moat around this company. There's no way it's gonna keep growing as fast as it has been. I mean, it's got so many competitors. It's got Microsoft, Google, Nvidia, Facebook, Apple, Cisco. I mean, I know there's more, they all have competing video conferencing products like everybody wants to get into it it's an easy thing to do it's just you know video over internet you know voip it's it's, I mean, it's easy easy technology to do and if people are going to do it better like zoom kind of sucks there's only certain things they can do and they're still like their lag's okay but it's still still a lag and you can only schedule meetings like out like 10 weeks in advance i mean there's some things that, that are just wrong with it it's kind of weird um <clears throat> But anyways, I think Zoom is a $60 stock at best in a normal environment. And that's far below the current price tag of $400. And, you know, I'm personally looking for times to short Zoom <clears throat> uh, using put options. I don't like to short stocks all right because your risk is unlimited because a stock could theoretically go up. But a put, your risk is limited by the amount of premium you pay. So I like to buy these puts. And I may or may not have a put position at the time you're watching this video. But you can be assured if it's below the 10, 50, and 200 day moving averages, I've got at least one put on Zoom and I'm going to make money as it falls. And Peloton is a company I hate as an investment. I mean, those bikes are actually one hell of a workout. I don't know if you've ridden on one of those, but holy cow, my legs feel like spaghetti noodles after about 10 minutes pedaling and doing that little resistance, increase, decrease thing that they have you do and get you going. It's, don't get me wrong, it works. It's a workout. I wish I had one with me right now. But it's really a hardware company masquerading as a tech company. I mean, yeah, they have a monthly subscription to their classes. I get it. So there's some renewable revenue, and I like renewable revenue. But it's it's an exercise bike, and it's like a gym. I mean, exercise bikes and gyms have been around for over a century. This is nothing new. It's just a hardware. You know, it's a gym company wrapped in a tech tech wrapper. I mean, that's all it is, and it's got an insane valuation ratio. It's maybe to sales is twelve which seems reasonable after you know hearing Zooms is 83, four, five, whatever I told you. But 12 is an expensive, expensive valuation for a hardware company. I mean, you know who else makes exercise bikes? Nautilus. You know what their ratio is? 1.3. I mean, Peloton's 10 time, almost 10 times as expensive as Nautilus, which is a, a close competitor to it. I mean, I mean, maybe Nautilus is a little underpriced, but Peloton's definitely overpriced. So Peloton's gonna go down as you know the economy opens up and gyms reopen. People go back to actual group classes and getting that actual uh, group experience. So Peloton, right now it's like a hundred, hundred twenty dollars. Um, I think it's a forty dollars stock. So that's like sixty percent below the current price. And you know that's a long ways to go. And I mean, will it get back up to a hundred at some point? You know, maybe. But I think you know in the next year it's going to dip well below 50 and you know i don't want anyone to be holding the bag during that kind of a drawdown that hurts it's painful and it's tough to watch um and then let's see what else uh teledoc yeah teledoc so that's you know video conferencing with your doctor is essentially what that is and they're going to see stagnating growth as well like anyone who's going to use teledoc already has signed up this year 
through necessity. And they got a huge boost from these virtual doctor visits. Um, but as fear of the pandemic goes away, people are gonna wanna go to their doctor and see them in person. Like they're gonna sit there and wait in the waiting room and go and see the doctor and make sure, and the doctor wants to see the patients in person too, so you can you know do all the tests and see everything. And not everything goes well over video. Uh, I mean, you just get more information in person, right? Yeah, anyways, people won't be scared to go to the clinic. They won't need Teladoc as often, and Teladoc won't have as many growing revenues. And I think that stock gets cut in half as well. You know, and, and there's gonna be more. I mean, there's a lot of stocks that are wildly overvalued right now because uh, of the pandemic boost. I mean, you got Overstock and Wayfair, which have just soared as people bought furniture online. But pretty soon people wanna go back to the furniture store and actually sit on the couch before they buy it and realize it's uncomfortable as hell. So they're gonna be going that, and these companies are gonna lose their revenue growth. Like, yeah, I know Overstock has a cryptocurrency section to it, but I mean, it still trades a lot on how its online platform does. And you know, even Amazon might struggle a little bit as you know its sales start to, sales growth slows just, just a tad as people go back to getting their stuff from the stores and getting everything delivered straight to the door. I mean, some people miss the stores. Don't get me wrong, I love getting everything delivered to my door. But I've talked to plenty of people who don't like that. They like going to the store and, you know, seeing their food, touching it, and making sure it's good, or, you know, seeing whatever else they want to before buying it. If people are going to go back to doing that, at least some will. And, you know, that's going to be tough on the online retailer like Amazon. Um, what else? There's just other overvalued stocks too. I mean, you got Okta, you got Fastly, um, yeah, you know, you got CrowdStrike. These are companies with great products, but they're just overvalued and they're going to go down eventually as a, this rotation from these high growth tech stocks um, turns into the value stocks become popular again. It's just, it's just a circle. Like we've seen just an abnormal growth, uh, or how should I say this? We've seen an abnormal returns in growth stocks compared to value stocks over the past decade. And it's gonna, re it's gonna reverse, it's gonna return eventually. And I think that the vaccine and the, when the coronavirus passes, we're gonna start seeing this happen. And you know, it's something you have to be prepared for. And I don't want you to lose money in these high flying tech growth stocks. I mean, they're, they're toxic, they're gonna, lose, they're gonna lose value. You need to be careful. So that's that. I mean, I'll post another video soon about which uh, sectors and companies I think will do well as the economy and people get out there and start, you know, going and having social interactions again instead of social distancing. Um, to make sure you get alerted to that video, please hit the subscribe button below and don't be afraid to leave any questions in the comments either. You know, that's how I know what's on people's minds and what I should make videos of in the future. So if you have anything you want to know, please put it in the comments below and we'll see about maybe doing a video for it. I hope this video helps you keep the profits you've earned over the past, you know, six months as the market's jumped, or really since 2009, as, you know, we've had an amazing bull market. Um, but right now, like I said, some of these tech stocks have amazingly high valuations. They define gravity, but gravity will remain undefeated, and these stocks will come down. And if you subscribe to my channel, you'll see in the next week or so another video about what you should invest in going forward. But until then, cheers.